One of the questions I get asked very often, both face-to-face in user group meetings that I attend and through social media is, how do you successfully complete certification exams and all the things that go along with it? Well, it's more than just simply knowing the answers. There's actually a couple of really helpful tips that can make you more successful in this regard. Specifically, four tips I want to share with you. The first is you have to have a desire and an ability to learn. I've dealt with people over the years that wanted to be able to go down the certification track, but they didn't either have the ability or they didn't have the desire to really learn. It takes commitment, it takes discipline. You have to like networking technology, not just think it's cool. It has to be something you really want to do. The other thing you need is drive and self-discipline. Study requires work. You have to set aside time to study. You have to set aside time to be able to set up labs, to be able to go through scenarios, uh, memorize some what might be some very tedious things. For example, binary math. It's not exactly something that you're going to discuss at a cocktail party, but it's essential to be able to do well in the networking world. The other thing, and this is where we at TrainSignal excel, is to give you superior training things that really help you to learn and lock in with the knowledge and really be able to apply it in an effective manner. It's one thing just to understand something, it's another to really be able to apply it. And that's what we want to do. We want to make it a practical and very helpful experience for you that stays with you literally throughout your career. And a final helpful tip is hands-on practice. There are three basic types of learners. There are auditory learners, people who learn by hearing. There are visual learners, those who learn by reading or by observing. And then there's what's called kinesthetic learning, which is a big 50 cent word that simply just means hands-on. If you take any other learning style and pair it with hands-on learning, I'm almost certain that you'll be able to master these topics. So if you take all that into account, you'll do very, very well in this whole matter called Cisco certification.